Hello, welcome back to the ABBA English YouTube channel. I'm Teacher Martine and this is a beginner's class where we will learn to use there is and there are. You can activate the subtitles with this video so that it's easier to follow what I'm saying. Make sure that you watch this video all the way until the end. At the end of the video, there will be a short conversation that you can use to practice your listening comprehension skills. I'll also give you some tips to help you to improve your understanding of spoken English. So watch all the way to the end of the video so that you don't miss anything. In the last video, I talked about the verb to be. If you haven't already watched that video, it's a good idea because we'll be using the verb to be when we learn to use there is and there are. You can also check out this blog post to deepen your understanding of there is and there are after you've watched this video. When we learned the verb to be, I taught you the easiest way to introduce yourself. I am Martine. Today, I'm going to teach you the easiest way to introduce an object. There is and there are. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the ABBA English channel so that you are notified when the next video is available. Okay, let's start our class. We can use them to introduce an object or objects. Let's start with there is. We use there is with singular nouns. For example, there is a cat. There is a person. We use there are with plural nouns. There are two cats. There are two people. Remember that people is an irregular plural. It's the plural of person. One person, two people. Now, we use there is and there are for all nouns, including that special category of nouns, uncountable nouns. Cat and person are countable nouns. We can have one, two, three or more. We can count them on our fingers. Uncountable nouns are things that we can't count on our fingers. Things like liquids, for example, water, and solids that are in little pieces, for example, rice. We use there is for uncountable nouns. There is oil on the salad. There is tea in my cup. What about when we want to say a negative? Well, we can do that in two ways. Firstly, by using those negative contractions of the verb to be that you learned in the last video. For example, there is not, or the contraction, there isn't. There isn't a class today. With uncountable nouns and plural nouns, we need to add the word any. There isn't any tea in my cup. There aren't any classes today. The second way we can make negative sentences is very easy. We just add the word no. There is no class today. 
There are no classes today. That's easy, right? There is no tea in my cup. Finally, you need to know how to ask a question. We do the usual thing and swap the order of the subject and the verb. Is there a class today? Is there? Again, with plural nouns and uncountable nouns, we need to use that word any. We use it in negative sentences and in questions. Are there any classes today? Is there any tea in my cup? Is there a cat on the chair? Are there any questions? If you have a question, you can write it in the comments. Now, let's practice there is and there are with a short conversation. Is there anything for dinner tonight? No, there is nothing in the fridge. There is no milk and there are no eggs. Is there a restaurant near here? Yes, there is a good restaurant near here. Are there any friends you want to invite? Yes, there is one friend. No, wait, there are two friends I would like to invite. Did you understand? If not, go back and listen again. Listen while reading the subtitles. Then go back and listen again without the subtitles. Then listen for a third time, but this time close your eyes. This is where the magic happens. Let your brain hear the words. By repeating this process with short conversations, you will train yourself to understand spoken English. It takes time and practice, but you can do it. You will find all of these tips listed in the comment below. Click on show more. Thanks for watching this video. Please show your love and support by liking the video and subscribing to the ABBA channel. Don't forget to activate notifications so that you get a reminder when the next video is ready. I'll see you very soon, but meanwhile you can check out these other videos that I think you'll find really useful. Bye bye. <laughs>